Can I give it to the Ramachari sir, shall we start the session? Yeah, we can start.
thank you sir uh, good morning one and all on behalf of department of chemistry rbvr women's college i deem it a great privilege and honor to welcome today's guest speaker professor devalapalli b ramachari from catalysis laboratory school of chemistry university of hyderabad and also my hearty welcome to all the faculty and student participants uh, sir we are very lucky to have you sir and i also would like to mention that sir has the credit of few chemical reactions which are named after him thank you for accepting our invitation sir now i invite dr umaima gazal uh, to introduce today's guest speaker to the participants good morning everyone this is dr umaima gazal from department of chemistry i'm glad to inform, welcome you all on today's webinar asymmetric organocatalysis is it sustainable catalysis switch on the video madam when you are talking maybe we can others may be to see so switch on the video okay sir so uh, i'm very delighted feeling delighted to welcome you sir on this uh, today's webinar which is uh, asymmetric organocatalysis is it sustainable catalysis so before proceeding further i would like to uh, introduce uh, the to sir uh, to all of you and uh, tell you about his uh, untiring efforts in chemistry world by giving his in brief introduction professor d b ramachari uh, has been completed his uh, bachelor's and master's from school of chemistry from university of hyderabad and he obtained his phd in synthetic organic chemistry from indian institute of science bangalore in 2001 he also had a, a good postdoctoral position at the scripps research institute for catalysis before joining hyderabad university in 2005 on um, um, um. he is a recipient of many of uh, awards one of uh, some of his achievements are there like uh, he was the fellow of national uh, academy of sciences alabad 2021 fellow of the royal society of chemistry london 2020 and fellow of indian american academy of sciences bangalore 2018 he guided 17 phd students 13 pdfs and out of them four phds got eli lilly and company asia outstanding thesis awards uh, from Bang uh, in 2011 12 13 and 14 consecutively he is in uh, in an editorial advisory board member organic and biomolecular chemistry rsc general 2013 to present he is also an advisory board member european general of organic chemistry village general 2017 to present and also from for tetrahedral chemistry elzevia general from 2021 to present professor b ramachari serving as a reviewer for many uh, national and international journals of repute and he is a member of many committees of national funding agencies like dst serb etc and he also published more than 110 research papers in in national and international journals of repute two books on emerging organocatalysis area and few chemical reactions are named after him and he also delivered 120 lectures in both national and international conference so we are very much uh, fortunate um, that we are having sir today and he is going to talk on asymmetric organic catalysis which is a sustainable is it sustainable catalysis or not so i welcome you sir and please proceed sir thank you so much to be here thank you dr umaima for your kind uh, introduction uh, i am very thankful today to be here uh, with uh, raja bahadur venkat ram reddy men's college and uh, i am first i am very thankful to dr jivan jyoti garu for the kind invitation to be here to present today my lecture uh, i will share my lecture able to see my uh, lecture slide yes sir it is visible now it is a fully visible right yes sir okay yeah well uh, uh today is the national uh, i think 28th february is the national science day and i'm today happy to interact with you people today in 26th february 
this year uh, uh, national science day team is uh, integrated approach in science and technology for sustainable future so is a very interesting team actually in integrated approach in science and technology for sustainable future so my lecture today in look like asymmetric organo catalysis is it sustainable catalysis so in any in, in the science whether it is chemistry or physics whatever uh, when you develop the concept uh, reactions uh, phenomena whatever whether it is the sustain for the future or not is important how sustainable that approach so keeping that in the mind i, I hope many of you people are aware of that is a uh, last year 2021 is a chemistry nobel prize is given to asymmetric organo catalysis uh, asymmetric organo catalysis is uh, shared both uh, professor benjamin list and professor macmillan both shared the nobel prize for this development of asymmetric organo catalysis uh, what is the asymmetric organo catalysis what is the asymmetric organo catalysis what is the organo catalysis organo catalysis is the acceleration of the chemical reactions with a sub stoichiometric amount of an organic molecule which does not contain a metal atom so why use organo catalyst no so you can understand that no requirement of harsh conditions dry or in at atmosphere uh, commercially available and generally is inexpensive because all are organic molecules we can synthesize easily you can make it. easily you can synthesize and the environmentally friendly highly selective and no prior modification needed and we don't need to use any metal because metal means you know is a tedious job uh, to get the metals and also after the uh, recovering and all is a big problem so there is no question of using the metal so at the same time in asymmetric catalysis why we need to develop the asymmetric catalysis i hope any of your students your teachers met or told you how important asymmetric catalysis because whatever in our body when you want to take the drug molecule or as a medicine so much amount molecule should be in the pure uh, chiral form absolutely a single enantiomer a single chiral compound we need to take as a drug molecule for that we need to develop the is the technology is asymmetric catalysis technology to develop those chiral molecules so how many ways how many techniques are there in asymmetric catalysis when you say yes is the bio catalysis this is one of the strong pillar for the asymmetric catalysis is another one is the metal catalysis a, a metal mediated catalysis and recently other two more uh, pillars is evolving as developing to hold uh, this asymmetric catalysis uh, in the strong manner that is one organo catalysis Uh, supramolecular organo catalysis these four pillars are strongly uh, helping to induce the develop the asymmetric catalysis field in the strong manner i'm very happy to uh, sh share with you guys uh, is a ramappa temple also known as the rudreshwara temple is a, a recently unesco world heritage site accepted uh, located in telangana and is very happy to see those no the quality pillars the temple i wish that many of you to made a visit so the pillars are how important to build the system the same way in the catalysis i'm sure that these the four pillars are really strongly help you so today i'm going to talk with you uh, this i will tell this uh, especially because the many bsc students also there i think bsc student ms students i will tell as a story deck how the subject evolved and you many of you guys students should really understand that how the subject is developed within 20 years actually uh, seriously came out at the bigger level but this is known from the late uh, kind of uh, 1912 onwards this is known so i distributed when when you know in organic chemistry we know retrosynthetic analysis 
when you do retrosynthetic analysis of the uh, asymmetric organocatalysis where last year got the nobel prize when you go back from how developed who developed how it came and how we able to get the last year nobel prize for this subject so i distributed uh, three categories as the free organocatalysis organocatalysis post organocatalysis so i divided to tell the story to you so i will tell how it is is initiated the uh, uh, free organocatalysis period in 1912 to 1998 you see uh, is in 1912 uh, bridig and this uh, he able to understand uh, a benzoin reaction taken the hydrocyanic acid hcl in in, in presence of uh, alkali like quinine or quinidine He added to the benzoyl D8. He got nine percent enantiomer matrix because this is the chiral center. In this chiral center, he got nine percent. Same uh, procedures in 1960. He able to do a ketene esterification reaction in presence of the same uh, acetyl quinine at minus one eleven degrees centigrade in toluene. He able to get the esterification reaction. Almost seventy-four percent enantiomer excess. Is they use the catalytic amount of the catalyst this time in toluene at low temperature. It's a ketene esterification. Very interesting. Seventy-four percent. And later in nineteen seventy-five, in Bar, he able to do in presence of the same alkali is a is a natural alkali quinine twenty mole percent toluene room temperature. He able to do Michael reaction. This is the Michael donor. This is the Michael acceptor, and generated the chiral center. Almost sixty-eight percent enantiomeric excess. In the same Winberg in nineteen seventy-seven, same time able to do Thaya Michael addition in presence of same quinine catalyst. Able to get the forty-one percent enantiomeric excess. You see how interesting. And those days in 1970s, 60s, 70s, is able to understand that natural material like a quinine is able to act as a catalyst for the asymmetric transformations. The history is very interesting. In same 1950s is another great scientist as Professor Stork. Professor Stork, Gilbert Stork, he discovered the Uh, in C2 uh, free form generation of the enamines even he taken the secondary amine like a pyrrolidine with the carbonyl in presence of acid with the dean sar carburetor or whatever he can generate the enamine species this enamines he discovered and able to understand how important the intermediates for the alkylation chemistry or acylation chemistry or michael reaction this acted as a nucleophile and this is electrophile will go reaction will form aluminium species then treat with water you get the carbonyl same aluminium species treat with water you get the carbonyl and here same time use the uh, artificial amine acid a uh, amine acid like a pyrrolidine acetate as a reagent for the making the enamine species and this enamine see lot of uh, reaction investigated this is the i can say milestone in organocatalysis this is organocatalysis no metal right in this no metal he made the high react to enamine species with organic molecule able to do synthetic transformations here i am very happy to show that is a professor harshil sri krishna who did uh, first phd from our university of hyderabad he did post doc with uh, gilbert stork and uh, he worked with gilbert stork in radical chemistry not in the cinamine chemistry he worked with uh, radical chemistry and he joined as a faculty member in uh, indian institute of science bangalore in uh, department of organic chemistry i did my phd with uh, professor sri krishna and uh, after i joined in university of hyderabad as a faculty i started working on this cinamine uh, chemistry so i am very happy that uh, he is uh, is uh, my scientific family member Happy to say that. So, in 1950s, when he developed the enamine chemistry, and in when 1971 is a professor, he is Dr. Rajas. He is working in a German company. He able to realize the uh, importance of this enamine chemistry. 
and he is the thus you can say this is the first uh, 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 first uh, uh, catalytic asymmetric reaction in high alonso selective manner this is called ajas paris edersart pichet reaction so ajas and paris from the company german company they developed in 1971 one reaction this is the what l proline catalyzed asymmetric disintegration of the triketones through intramolecular allyl reaction followed by dehydration to make this ab sorry is the uh, cd ring of the uh steroid here this is the molecule and this have a plane of symmetry to this you added the three mole percent of l proline this is the amino acid chiral amino acid natural amino acid in bmf 25 degree centigrade able to get the intramolecular allyl reaction you see here uh, students this carbonyl this carbonyl this is the enantiotopic carbonyl this one is generate as a nucleophile can react with this or can react with this but in presence of amino acid exclusively will go only one carbonyl almost 93% enantiomer excess the discrimination of among these two carbonyl only one carbonyl involved in the reaction after hydrolysis you will get the you know this is the cd ring is the almost 95% enantiomer excess once you do the one single crystallization you will get the absolute single enantiomer then ajas proposed the this transition state where l proline is involving as a aminal formation with this carbonyl and uh, aminal h is in uh, inducing hydrogen bonding with this carbonyl and this a, a, a aminal uh, when becoming nucleophile attack somehow he is not agreed himself with this one but he has put like this this is another transition state he managed like this but uh, some of the uh, rest of the scientific community uh, did not get the clear cut understanding about this transient state you can say some of ajas is uh, not given the clear explanation how he is achieving this i enantiomer excess agami from the french chemist he tried to explain this reaction by two l proline involving one l proline involving the enamine formation from this side chain carbonyl another proline is bringing carbonyl and enamine close to go high proximity to induce the enantiomer selective allyl reaction and the rest of the community here also not believe that whether is required the two l proline for this chemist our indian chemist professor swaminathan from the university of madras he proposed the crystal surface induced pro or crystal surface of the proline is inducing to go this asymmetric allyl reaction a uh, rest of the community uh, not believed 100% that whether it is going possible like this you see you guys understanding in organic chemistry when you develop the reaction to others to follow your reaction how clearly you are explaining the reaction mechanism is very important the path of the reaction will give you lot of in and out or progress of the reaction to others to follow or expand in the bigger level when the reaction path if you didn't understand yourself or others didn't understand or did not work on that uh, it may not the subject may not develop it may not be sustainable if your reaction is to be sustainable that you have to understand completely step by step in the portion of the reaction students you please keep that in the mind you see when this reaction developed in 1971 it almost a single enantiomer but people didn't understand the reaction mechanism but the same 1971 is another reaction where wheel and mixer ketone this is the ab ring of the steroid you see first cd ring people developed later in ab ring also developed ab ring also same manner asymmetric disintegration because the ab ring is more useful in natural product chemistry almost more than uh, 60 70 natural products are there uh, as a as a starting material of this ab ring in, uh, in sort of synthesis of natural products so proline catalysis is able to develop in high yield construction of asymmetric synthesis of wilan uh, mischel ketone so 
what i'm trying to say is a proline catalyzed allal reaction able to develop the 1970s in later in 1981 uh, our great uh, total synthetic chemist professor woodward he able to use proline as a catalyst in this kind of uh, intramolecular asymmetric allal reaction almost 36% ee this intermediate used as a starting material for the erythromycin total synthesis you can understand how important uh, one of the pioneer able to realize understand the importance of the proline catalyzed intramolecular allal reaction in 1989 uh, professor michael jen is another pioneer in organic chemistry he able to realize the importance of the imenium activation those days uh, people realized how important the imenium activated dienophiles Uh, how good react when deals are kept he has taken the catalyst like this uh, isopropyl pyrrolidine chiral 1 he reacted with this and formed the amide and he treated with uh, triethyl oxoborate to make the imenium species like this now this alpha beta double bond alpha beta oxidation is conjugated with imenium species when imenium species conjugated with the double bond and this act as a very good dienophile with the deal sort of dying like a cyclopentad dying it went on at 0 degree centigrade deal sort of chemistry after the removal of this chiral auxiliary he able to get 85% enantiomeric excess of the deal sort of. here also without metal with chiral amine able to catalyze this reaction but somehow michael jen is not happy for the deep production of uh, the chiral auxiliary are uh, thinking about utilizing the catalytic amount of this uh, chiral information for the development of this asymmetric deal sort of reaction of uh, uh, deal sort of reaction of this one somehow he, he didn't work further on this reaction if he worked further on this reaction he might have shared the nobel prize students understanding madam everything is okay the sound and all Yes, sir. Everything is okay. Perfect. Fine. Thank you. So, well, in 1998, uh, Professor Serebro from the Jelinski Institute of Organic Chemistry, Moscow, he able to develop the catalytic amount of Diels-Sutter reaction, where he take an asymmetric Diels-Sutter reaction. by using catalytic dienamines or one name known triple dien he has taken the dienophile like this mono hydroxy melonates and he has taken the uh, alpha pyridine sir aldehyde like this he has taken the dipenyl pyridinyl catalyst 10 mol percent at 25 degrees 20 degrees centigrade you see what is happening this catalyst reacted with this uh, carbonyl form imenium then followed by i isomerization of this edge you formed the diene source now this is the 1mn1 triple diene this is electron rich diene and this become dienophile between these two both the cycloids in taken place and form this intermediate after forming this intermediate they have a highly steric index because of chiral auxiliary is there in this reaction now acid is there now acid is doing decarboxylation is giving electrons inside the bond is breaking and amine is eliminated so this is a decarboxylative amine elimination now double bond came now you form this product when you analyze this product you got almost single 99.9% single enantiomer but yield is let go 40% but this is the one of the beautiful reaction in 1998 uh, diphenyl diphenyl catalyzed catalytic asymmetric deal sort of reaction but he also did not work for the for the development of this reaction where yield can improve where this reaction can investigate on for other substrates to improve the more sustainable nature of this reaction if he developed the more sustainable nature of this one he also met have shared the nobel prize students should understand that student first thing in the science in the science we need to understand the where is the real progress which way to work which side to go 
way the future generations will utilize the reaction in the bigger level that is a very important well <clears throat> when this work is going on like that from uh, scripts research institute professor carlos barbas uh, he is a professor from the scripts he started working on uh, antibody catalysis this his group is well known for the development of catalytic antibodies uh, a catalytic antibody like a 38c2 he is developing developed the catalytic antibody and catalytic antibody is known for the making carbonyl with enamines like that and this enamines he able to utilize as a reactive species but the reaction with other aldehydes uh, other carbonyls to go uh, reactions like a uh, robinson relation reaction or intermolecular reaction condensation michael reaction variety of reactions they investigated almost many reactions have a single enantiomer formation during this uh, reaction uh, development of antibody 38c2 professor carlos barbas is able to explain the thoroughly this reaction mechanism of antibody 38c2 in this antibody 38c2 one of the key amino acid is lysine if the lysine amino acid have a primary amine that amine react with the carbonyl will form an amine and another carbonyl will come close to the in a mine and we will have a close proximity between these two reactive species will go allyl reaction followed by hydrolysis will release the beta hydroxy carbonyl with high enantiomer induction then again this antibody will be ready to go as a catalytic manner to react further so when they explain thoroughly this reaction mechanism what is happening like a store enamines are forming right like a store enamine chemistry is a primary amine react with the carbonyl in forming enamine and uh, based on the close proximity with other functional groups bringing the carbonyl flows and i proximity manner i phase selective manner reaction is taking place then uh, product is releasing once uh, carlos barbas in 1995 science paper he demonstrated thoroughly this reaction mechanism once he, the, when it came 1995 1994 1998 they completely explain once they explain in 1999 professor carlos barbas from the scripps research institute he realized that you know uh, 1970s ajax paris ketone synthesis right where l proline catalyzed the asymmetric intermolecular allyl reaction then they didn't explain the reaction mechanism right he, professor carlos barbas is a pioneer explain the reaction mechanism then he taken that simple one substrate acyclic one like this diketone then he did the reaction of the antibody 38c2 with both l proline catalysis 38c2 catalysis almost in the same manner 42% e 47% e similar manner enantiomer catalysis observed with opposite uh, enantiomers then he realized because he know clearly that the antibody 38c2 is catalyzed in this reaction via enamine mechanism because this is the way he explained right now based on his understanding about the 38c2 he believed that proline also will do enamine chemistry only is a single proline only will be involving in this reaction he realized then here you see benjamin list and lerner barbas three people in the immediately in the same year say benjamin list lerner barbas they able to demonstrate first time intermolecular allyl reaction up to now people studied only in 1970 onwards up to 1999 uh, 2000 people studied only intramolecular now he realized the importance of the reaction uh, barbas asked the student benjamin list to put the reaction intermolecular version and they have intermolecular version of this reaction benjali and uh, with acetone in 30 mole percent of proline and able to generate the aldal products with almost up to 97 percent and yield and up to 96 percent in answer of texas with their previous knowledge they explain the reaction mechanism is going like that proline with taken excess of acetone in forming enamine 
then all the like benzoyl dh is coming like the same side of the carboxylic acid when the all the is coming same side of the carboxylic acid h is involved in hydrogen bonding with carbonyl by hydrogen bonding with the carbonyl in using the uh, electrophilicity of the carbonyl and this nucleophile attacking on the bottom side in the rephasal attack to form the high enantiomer select when they take an aliphatic aldehyde compared to aromatic aliphatic is really showed excellent manner single diastereomer single enantiomer high region high region selective this paper published in 2000 uh, and received in december 7 1999 and this is open the completely new door for the uh, proline catalyzed asymmetric reactions you guys understanding in 1971 ajas paris developed the reaction but people didn't use much but once they explain the reaction mechanism this is the way clearly explain the mechanism and and immediately started developing this reaction uh then immediately carlos borbas is very uh, fascinated to understand the more uh, reactivity of this reaction then they investigated the michael reaction but some of they didn't get the good e with l proline but immediately barbas designed a new catalyst like this a diamine and diamine able to give up to 78% enantiomeric excess and almost single diastereomer even benjamin list by the time he become independent researcher he also investigated proline catalyst he also did that much e uh, then benjamin list as a, a independent investigator from the scripts he developed the three component manic reaction this is called three component manic reaction and this three component manic reaction able to give this kind of amines with high enantiomer selectivity and explain the reaction mechanism and carlos barbas and he developed the two component manic reaction by using this kind of imine species and he able to develop the masked amino acid these all are artificial amino acid if you they protect the amine pmp and ester these all will become a high important artificial amino acids or highly functional amino acid this is a really become a top uh, paper in 2002 back to back papers and these two papers really uh, given the evolution in further development of asymmetric organic catalyst reaction then further he developed the manic reaction with the uh other catalyst like a uh, uh, methoxy pyrrolidine a way to develop the anti manic attack and he studied the water effect in this reaction and he investigated the one part chemistry in the manic reaction to make functionally rich molecules for the medicinal chemistry and demonstrate the many other applications and uh, same time uh, once you understand the reaction mechanism that is the beauty of organic chemistry started investigating on different reaction different electrophiles uh, to investigate the uh, reaction he has taken the other electrophiles like this uh, dead dietrich dicarboxylate uh, as a new electro n electrophile and able to generate the amine material in high enantiomer selectivity and that time other chemist from the denmark was jargonsen entered in this field and he able to publish back to back papers with the albiet ketones with the same dead and proline catalysis Uh, to develop the highly functionalized chiral elimination products in almost the same time benjamin list and then uh, jargonsen published back to back papers on this this area and the same time the professor benjamin list moved from the scripps to max planck to the germany from there he started studying for the uh, intramolecular alkyl 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 reaction where enol endo versus enol exo alkylization reaction this is enol endo and this is enol exo it is a very interesting reaction and according to enol exo he able to design the different substrate to study intramolecular alkyl alkyl reaction and proline catalysis he able to see extraordinary yields and enantiomer selectivity and well proved that proline able to bend even enol exo cyclization also and with the collaboration with the person k and huck from the ucl and benjamin list able to investigate this reaction mechanism thoroughly We're using uh, dft calculation we using dft calculation on variety of the conformations configurations and all we they realize that only one proline is involving and this is the way transient state is going on with the low energy part 
where this you see this proline conformation is behaving like that n is inducing the one of the carbonyl to enamine formation carboxylic h is inducing the electrophile by hydrogen bonding this is the highly low energy path and close proximity cluster to make the new cc bond formation with high phase selectivity and in the same year they did uh, kinetic and uh, 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 they did uh, uh, they they did they one second they did uh, they did uh, kinetic and stereochemical evidences uh, on this reaction to go on ajaspal reaction intramolecular reaction they investigated thoroughly uh, retroalkylation kinetics between these or absence of nonlinear effects ajaspal reaction absence of dilution effects on the nnc selectivity all these three experiment they thoroughly proved that there is no two proline involving this reaction in adjust paracyclic ketone only one pool involving this is the way is making enamine and the hydro, uh, carboxylic h is inducing the one of the carbonyl like this to induce the electrophile you see among these two carbonyl only one carbonyl have a close proximity with carboxylic acid another carbon is away because of the high electrophilic nature of this and this is involving in intramolecular alloy reaction that's why we are getting high enantiomer selectivity in intermolecular reaction this is the way is involved once they proved clearly and it is open the door for the so many other chemists to involving in this reaction and later is the benjamin list able to develop the uh, other intermolecular alkylation reaction where it is in different substrate like that <laughs> under proline catalysis to make the uh, intramolecular alkylation reaction to make different compounds with high enantio selectivity and later benjamin list able to do different reaction like hydrogenation chemistry alkylation chemistry and random reactions and he developed and uh, professor carlos barbas he developed the uh, developed the catalyst different catalyst to have asymmetric michael reaction you see high enantio selectivity or asymmetric aldol reaction here he able to develop the quaternary center normally generating the quaternary centers in organic chemistry not that much easy because you need the high reactive catalyst but under organocatalysis he is the first laboratory to make the quaternary centers like that with high enantio selective manner he explained the reaction mechanism he able to develop the four plus two cyclo addition through a enamine activation this is the 2m no 1 3 dye later the you know this 2m no 1 3 dye in in situ generated with three component manner able to do four plus two cyclo addition high enantio set single enantiomer single diastereomer and later so many other chemists followed this reaction to develop the variety of the uh, four plus two cyclo addition today people are calling this is like a parbas four plus two cyclo addition reaction and this is the story from the Carlos Barbas and Benjamin List, where they developed the enamine induced, like enamium induced reactions for the variety of allyl, manic, Michael, Diel Sauter, purpose of cyclodition, amination, that kind of reaction. The same time, from the uh, uh, Caltech uh, Professor uh, Macmillan. He able to understand the way in 1980s. Uh, uh michael jeng developed the imenium activity use sort of reaction he able to design the new catalyst instead of the michael jeng catalyst he able to develop this kind of imidazolin catalyst this can generate is uh, very easy from the corresponding phenyl aniline catalyst phenyl aniline and this catalyst able to use 5 to 10 mol percent methanol water combination taken this kind of alpha bidons aldehyde in the diene source he able to make the mixture of endo exo diene sort of react with high enantiomer selectivity high enantiomer selectivity dr is not that much good but enantiomer selectivity is very very good and they explain the reaction mechanism this is the way the imenium species are going to form and uh, this uh, top side this benzene group is uh, shielding it cannot come this uh, diene diene source in the top side only can come from the bottom side 
that is the way able to achieve i and answer once he understand this reaction with this clear manner immediately he started developing a different reaction uh, three plus cycloaddition chemistry uh, asymmetric filler alkylation reaction uh, he able to develop other second generation catalyst to have a uh, fluoryl cup michael reaction or uh, michael reactions or uh, diels hart reaction with ketones he able to develop you know, third this is third generation catalyst immediately able to develop the first generation second generation third generation catalyst to more further development of this uh, uh, 4 plus cycloaddition reaction through immunium activation and at the same time he able to understand the importance of aldol reaction from the barbas chemistry and he able to develop the cross aldol reaction between two different aldehydes to under cold catalysis to make the cross aldol products and he able to use is a catalyst also from the cross aldol reaction to make the sugar moieties this published in the science i can i wish you that you people can go to his website to see uh, further importance of the subject and he able to gain aminoxylation chemistry a hey, this is called, this is called asymmetric oxidation chemistry and he explain the reaction mechanism and from the professor carlos barbas laboratory uh, guf jong also same time he developed this asymmetric oxidation chemistry for the same time he explained the uh, allogenation chemistry asymmetric allogenation chemistry and up to 2004 uh, from 2000 to 2004 professor carlos barbas professor benjamin lees to professor macmillan and professor jargon sun able to explain uh, in situ generation and Uh, asymmetric synthesis of uh, uh, like a variety of the functional molecules like aldol chemistry manic chemistry michael chemistry these other things and reaction mechanism l explain single amino acid or amine is involving in this reaction once this is uh, uh, five years in and established the concept and from year 2005 onwards many people entered into this field many people that is the very important when you develop the reaction or concept is not the only one you are working in the field others able to involve enter into the field and expand more applicable manner to other areas other subjects then only that will be well recognized so carlos barbas developed the after that so many reactions so many understanding uh, because of the time concern i am not going to tell much about that you please visit his website uh, to see more of his work and for carlos barbas for some mac millen for the benjamin lees he started developing so many reactions different reaction further understand development of that and for some jargon son also he started developing uh, further this dynamine chemistry and for some ujiro ayashi also developed the catalyst new catalyst dpo tms to have a michael reaction and to show applications in medicinal chemistry and uh, jacobson developed the thio ureas to develop in asymmetric reaction and tuber su from the hungary he developed the uh, thio urea from based on the alkaloid chemistry to have asymmetric michael reaction viresh raval from chicago he developed the hydrogen bond catalyzed reactions in especially asymmetric michael reactions using uh, this later we call as this is a squaramide catalyst called as viresh raval catalyst and enders developed the uh, cascade chemistry which is the tandem reaction many organo catalysts can able to go tandem reaction to highly functional molecules uh, this is the way reaction mechanism this is called triple cascade this is in amine chemistry imenian chemistry again in amine chemistry you see on single catalyst how is performing different reactions to go to make the highly functional molecules and sogawa from the germany she developed the very uh, interesting catalyst to go asymmetric michael reactions and the black man from the states uh, she able to explain the, this inner portion of this reaction organo catalytic reaction where he, she can able to demonstrate the uh, difference between primary catalytic species uh, secondary catalytic species how these secondary catalytic species are parasites for the further understanding about this catalytic reaction i'm i'm requesting you to go through our website to go further understanding about this subject these are the from the other countries how people develop this reaction here i would like to tell for you guys uh, what is happening from india what uh, development is happening uh, 
this kind of uh, work organocatalysis from uh, from our country well uh, as i told you professor swaminathan from university of hyderabad he worked on uh, proline catalyzed intramolecular aldol reaction to understand the reaction mechanism and all but somehow he didn't go further elongation of this uh, proline catalyzed reaction other reaction only worked on the kind of substrate only uh, and uh, professor barbas uh, sir professor baswaya from university of hyderabad he developed the tertiary amine catalyzed cc bond formation between uh, alpha beta on such ketones and aldehydes to make the uh, functionalized alcohols like this and he is uh, developed thoroughly this reaction and later become he is a coin this baswaya belselman reaction uh, in organic chemistry and professor vijay nair he developed the nsc catalyzed reactions and i would request you to go to his website to see more understanding about this nsc catalyzed reaction for the cc bond formation and uh, professor vinod singh from iit kanpur he developed uh, very systematically his catalyst uh, kind of uh, amide prolinol like this and this catalyst is well explained how better than proline to have a intramolecular aldol reaction even in water with high enantiomer selectivity and later this is called as a syn catalyst because it is highly reactive catalyst to hu high enantiomer selectivity uh barkessel synthesized this syn catalyst in large scale in one pot uh, many people are using this catalyst and the process process uh, sopranadeep singh from the gurunanak dev university he is working in organocatalysis to demonstrate variety of reaction especially decarboxylated uh, manic reaction to synthesize highly functionalized molecule in high energy selective manner and professor pradeep kumar uh, from ncl pune he able to utilize the asymmetric oxidation reaction total synthesis many total synthesis has done using the asymmetric uh, immunoxidation reaction is a key step professor shantanu mukherji from iis bangalore he did the phd with professor benjamin lees he is working on thiourea catalyzed asymmetric reaction and biju sir slides are not moving sir 27 slide is showing to us oh i think for me it is moving for you guys are not moving no Now? sir it's moving i think uh, there is some uh, network issue on his side but maybe is... okay okay thank you thank you so shantanu mukherji from the iis bangalore biju also from iis bangalore working in nsc catalysis uh, professor shubha chandra pan uh, from iit gohati he is also working on asymmetric organo catalysis professor indresh kumar from the bits pilani he working on uh, barba cyclo addition reaction to expand the bigger level in, in heterocyclic synthesis and applications in organic chemistry medicinal chemistry and uh, we reviewed few years back The status of asymmetric catalysis in India during the last ten years. I this is the open access journal. Uh, is the proceedings of the Indian Academy, of, Indian National Science Academy. You can download this paper uh, to see the who and all working on asymmetric organo catalysis from the India. Uh, how much time I have, madam? Sir, fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Okay. so yeah i would like to tell you slides about my laboratory what we are working on the university of hyderabad as i told you uh, 2005 i joined as a faculty in university of hyderabad as uh, we know the importance of the organo catalysis yeah sir uh, after 27 are you uh, means going further for a next slide or is it for means up to 27 it is next slide i am going is not okay, not sir. moving no sir uh, me sir for us uh, before 27 it was uh, easily moving but now i think you were demonstrating about the people so now it is moving uh, no sir i think some problem is there maybe internet problem okay sir now is okay sir again it is the same slide 27 okay i don't know some maybe problem is there Sir, uh, means sir, uh, it will be uh, good like if you stop once and after that you will share. Means if it is uh, comfortable to you. I am not understand what you are telling. Sir, 
but i'm saying like you can stop sharing and again you can uh, mean so start sharing aha uh -huh. okay then okay. able to see slide yes sir yes sir yes sir moving now yes sir now moving okay all are getting seeing or only so for us sir. visible sir visible yes, sir visible okay. sir thank you thank you so yeah i joined in 2005 as i said uh, we realized the importance of organocatalysis and uh, uh, we want to see seriously some useful reaction where uh, people should use and this is the one of the reaction we realize the importance of the reaction where we can do alkylation on this place using the under organocatalysis we taken the different carbonyls as the alkyl source this is alkyl source and this is the hydrogen source and we introduce the alkylation there like this and from 2005 onwards we are working on this reaction and uh, to show how important this chemistry and we are happy that we are able to understand develop and all over the globe people are using this reaction uh, to introduce the different alkyl groups on that and go use as the starting metal for dimensional chemistry and other uh, reaction and in the process of that we try to see the naturally nature available very easily large amount available material from the nature that is one of the one in lasso normally in, in our telugu states we call it the gorenda from the gorenda dog this is the main important in ingredient in that to get the color and this molecule is very important uh, material in medicinal chemistry and using this molecule we introduce the different alkyl groups using our Uh, sir, we are unable to hear you, sir. Sir, we are unable to hear you, sir. Sir, we'll be joining uh, shortly, so please stay tuned yeah, with yeah. us. Uh You are able to see the slide, madam? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. I think there is some power problem came here. Yes, sir. So, uh, using the using the using the um, alkylated lysones, we are able to demonstrate the important reaction like. Uh, uh, important reaction like in bio urea catalyzed reaction to make this kind of methanobenzoenolins these are very important materials in the antibiotics so we further we demonstrated the different reactions in medicinal chemistry to go uh, you know uh, benzoed bicyclooctanes and we demonstrated many of these compounds how important in uh, antibiotics and i am very happy to say that uh, Uh, this year this uh, thesis got the best thesis award from the uh, sai life most best thesis award to demonstrate how important uh, this uh, gorenda ingredient of the lasso is important in uh, asymmetric organocatalysis to make the medicinal important molecules guys able to hear me yes sir yes sir okay thank you because the power is fluctuating here <laughs> i have a doubt so a uh, few months back we demonstrated how important of the ppm level loading of the catalyst in organocatalysis 
we have taken the quinine thiourea as a ppm level to demonstrate this asymmetric reaction to give high enantiomer you know, single enantiomer and single catalyst uh, I and mean, single product to make the one and we showed in them how important in medicinal chemistry and this is also very important reaction in alkylation reaction because we want to introduce this group exclusively and show but in the literature you see people have tried from 1998 to up to 2017 to introduce this group there you guys can realize how important you see 40% 42% 29% yield only they got but this exclusively one some different substrate able to give 99% but not other substrate but applications you see how people are utilizing keep on in natural products drug synthesis they need organic chemists need this starting material but the people are going with very less yield then we solve this problem we solve this problem using our uh, reaction of the organo catalytic reductive coupling we able to achieve more than 90% the yield of the alkylation product but we no need to do any column chromatography and all by filtration we can get the product so that is the importance of this reaction many other chemists utilizing this uh, from the previous back the pfizer used our reaction in the um, kg scale synthesis of the five uh, uh, filbivir this is the hepatitis c virus inhibitor and in medicinal chemistry and methodology material chemistry uh, total synthesis able to use i am very happy that uh, today people are calling about this uh, alkylation chemistry as a as a name reaction of from this country and we also developed the click reaction very important of this click products uh, through the cyclo addition where uh, sharp has developed this click reaction and betros has developed the metal free reaction but we developed the metal free mode as amino acid catalyzed click reaction where we demonstrated how important in medicinal importance of benzotriazoles and we demonstrated this in dbu catalyzed click reaction to make in how important uh, uh, ketones in a click reaction to make the important uh, drug molecules and medicinal chemistry and today this is also calling as a, a ramachari bresi wang reaction where bresi from the france developed this reaction wang from the china developed the for the development of this reaction and i'm very happy to share with you that this reaction is very important for the medicinal aspects and we also develop other chemistry like amino union chemistry uh, in medicinal chemistry and we demonstrated the supramolecular organocatalysis where this is the what where we have a more functional group and organocatalysis is not a working properly then we went on to develop supramolecular organocatalysis like that so different more number of substrate more number of catalysts with having more number of interactions we can have a assembly this is called supramolecular assembly the supramolecular assembly can control the uh, enantio selectivity diastereo selectivity chemo selectivity regio selectivity what and all you are looking to control the reaction can able to bend in this uh, um, assembly to go in the bigger level and i enantio selectivity may we explain uh, i think um, when you are interested more to know you can visit my website to go through this chemistry a lot of industrial applications are there i recently written this uh, two reviews i wish that you can go through these two reviews to see uh, how important this uh, asymmetric organic analysis in my conclusion uh, we are very thankful for nobel committee 2021 for uh, choosing the chemistry nobel prize uh, 2021 for the asymmetric organic analysis but you know who is the pioneer professor carlos barbas very young age at 58 he passed away in 2014 because he passed away and uh, we are not seeing his name in this uh, nobel prize but uh, as long as you know organocatalysis is there in this planet uh, we remember forever the professor carlos contributions for the development of asymmetric organocatalysis uh, and i am very happy that uh, uh, next two people benjamin list and macmillan able to share this nobel prize for this uh, subject and but still lot more work is there to develop need to expand the library of sustainable organo catalysts need to expand the substrate scope and need to expand the more number of green sustainable reactions through organo catalysis where up to now whatever we know organic reaction useful for the uh, other subject like medicinal chemistry pharma biological chemistry whatever uh, where we use the metal i think we can replace completely using metal free reaction for that we need to understand more organo catalysis 
same time in biocatalysis the enzyme need only ppp or ppm pv level parts per billion level so the subject has to develop more uh, to use the low level loading and also same time this all reaction organocatalysis has to be placed in pharmaceutical large scale applications so for that i think i i feel that another three more nobel prizes can come for this and uh, for the development of organocatalysis so youngsters not to worry that already nobel prize given to organocatalysis so a lot more work is there so i am very thankful to my former phd students the present phd students and my postdocs and my msc project students i am very thankful to my dst for financial support csr ugc upe our university of hyderabad and our uh, ioe uh, is university of excellence this is really helping for the many of our faculty to do more job uh, uh, and uh, um, thankful for your and uh, for your patience to listen my lecture thank you thank you thank you sir it was really an inspiring session sir Many thanks, sir, for your wonderful elaboration on the development and advancement in the field of organocatalysis. It was highly appreciated. Switch on and the video, then... madam. Can you talk with you? No, we are not able to see who is talking. Please switch on the Rovandal faculty to okay. video so that we can able to communicate easily. You no, know? if you keep put the parada and talk, we can't understand. Now it's visible, sir. Yes. Okay. Many thanks, sir, for your wonderful elaboration on the development and advancement in the field of organocatalysis. It was highly appreciated from your side, and it was very really important to enhance our information on that. And uh, means thank you so much for sparing your valuable time with us. So it was uh, wonderful. So thank now you. I would uh, like to invite. Uh, Ms. A. Shravya, Assistant Professor from Faculty uh, Department of Chemistry, to offer a formal vote of thanks. No, any any questions are there? I can take the student point of view. If you people are having any queries, you can interact with sir, or you can uh, post your queries in your chat box also. That's what I'm seeing. Chat box. So one person is there. Can we have a feedback link, madam? Hmm. Yes, sir. I will share the feedback link, sir. Ah. Oh. Dear, dear participants, if you want to interact with sir, you can ask your queries. Yeah, please. If you're not having any queries, you can even give your feedback to sir. You can talk generally. If you're not talking subject, also you can talk generally. So how you guys are able to see this uh, this uh, storytelling? I didn't go thoroughly too much of the uh, inner portion of the subject, right? Just I told the story time. Really, what inspired you to uh, drive towards this asymmetric uh, synthesis? Sir? Well, you know, it's a very nice question. Uh, as I told you. when you want to have a drug molecule or any pharma related or material related when you want to see the uh, you, you, the system need asymmetric molecule is not a symmetric molecule the way in our body the way outside we looks like a symmetric we have a two hands two legs two eyes and all look more symmetric the nature we are very thankful to the nature nature output made it more symmetric to look more beautiful maybe but when you go inside the body whether it's an animal body or plant body in inside is so asymmetric is not a symmetric all asymmetric molecule because of the asymmetry and the reactions have control react to control the reaction selectivity reactivity all molecule have asymmetry because of the asymmetry those reactions rate and selectivity will be controlled completely so when you have a asymmetry then you need to have a more technology right you need to have a more technology to synthesize asymmetry sometime organic reaction symmetry molecule synthesis itself will take more time to understand is a real challenging but if you asymmetric is a double challenge 
so if you really take the challenging problem to solve that one from there you will feel happy that uh, subject will be developed and the problems will be solved and uh, our understanding and subject will improve more so i like the challenge of understanding about the uh, asymmetric synthesis uh, uh, the concept everything in the greener mode a sustainable mode sometime when you develop the one reaction and all only like you know uh, only we use but if you others also should use that so where is the real problem asymmetric asymmetric if you develop other labs also will use you see that in asymmetric organic analysis uh, 1971 developed but did not understand up to it took 1999 30 years took almost 2000 onwards is evolved the bigger level you 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 got it my answer am yes sir thank you sir so that is a is a real challenge to have a more and more reactions in asymmetric catalysis the technology has to improve more even for the teaching purpose and research purpose yes sir so one query from my side please switch on the video and you know yeah, actually, there is some problem i am so checking <laughs> You see, as a teacher, no last two years and all, I'm getting fed up with you know asking, 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 asking. You know, when you interact only, we'll have more understanding, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just want to know, sir, that you are developing, you are developing together. So, are they directly having an approach to cure some decision also? Voice is echo is coming, madam. The question from the page. Echo is Now coming. Now it's audible, sir. Ah. Yeah, I just want to know, like uh, you are developing so many organocatalysis, symmetric organocatalysis, which are there. So, are they uh, having some direct approach to cure some diseases also? Absolutely. That, that's what I told. Now, in the Pfizer company, used our reaction to make the hepatitis C virus inhibitor. Is that is that they are using the KG pilot plant scale. Okay, sir. our uh, our ramachari related to coupling because i didn't tell you here that reaction now almost even i i didn't show much interest to get the patent but based on my reaction almost 30 patents are there from all over the globe european countries china japan many people have a patents to utilize my reaction in their pharmaceutical chemistry okay sir thank you so much yeah participants you also can ask uh, question to sir directly or not questions then you can uh, be uh, interact with sir normally i am expecting some questions from students if they really understand students of msc you can ask to sir questions why because you are having this particular topic in your syllabus as well how many students they have a fashion of that uh, today is a science day uh, today is a science day uh, people how many people have a fashion that after coming few years uh, your science has to discuss by some other scientist in the science day in the greater level people have a fashion i had a fashion of that when i am doing my masters in university of hyderabad or my bsc from nagarjuna degree college from nalgonda my degree from the ng college nalgonda my msc from university of hyderabad when i am having the classes from my teachers in beauty of organic chemistry is like a people teacher will come and tell deal sarder reaction michael reaction manic reaction like that so i used to ask myself question when i can hear from the uh, indian name on this name reaction sticks why not talk like that why only we have to depend on others names why not from our country guys understanding students students you can even interact in telugu if you have any problem with english uh, interact you can you can talk with me no problem telugu <laughs> 
maybe i will come out of from this uh, sharing yeah uh, good uh, good afternoon sir uh, no. my name is krishna tejashwi i am from msc second year uh, you sir, can open like, your uh, video tejashwi okay ma'am thank you ma'am Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, no, my no, name is Krishna Tejas. Mm. Actually, I'm very much interested in doing PhD under you, sir. Like, how? Very good. How should I? I, I so, you, I think for next onwards, uh, I think you have to write the our entrance, our university entrance, or uh, CSR. You have to get the net net fellowship. national eligibility test for the phd so that is like a, your janma haku when you people know about the phd cheda anukuntavo then getting the fellowship phd fellowship is very important you agree ma voice is not hello yes sir so you write the net exam Yes, sir. I'm preparing for the uh, yes, sir. Net exam and CSIR, mm -hmm. uh, and like uh, I don't uh, like now. I've got inspired from you so much. Like I really want to do the to do my PhD under you, sir. Thank you. I wish you soon to see you as a PhD student in our school of chemistry. Thank you, sir. Welcome. participants from other colleges also please uh, unmute yourself and you can interact with sir it's a nice opportunity to interact with sir good morning sir good morning sir my name is sameshwari sir sir, sir i am completed amma cheppandi cheppandi telugu maatladtha va completed telugu maatladtha va maatladtha manchi telugu maatladandi telugu lo adagandi sir nen 2018 lo msc complete chesan sir rbvrr college lo okay recently nen hcc entrance rasa sir hcc entrance rasa va ha yes sir shortlist ayin sir ओके सर ना इंटरव्यू वाला कंप्लीट है इंसर हम वेटिंग पर रिजल्ट सर मंच गुड लक वांट टू डू विश यू गुड लक योर गाइडेंस सर आप आकुन ना माँ विश यू गुड लक फर्स्ट यू एंटर द आह स्कूल ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आई विश यू दैट ओके थैंक यू सर मंच दम सर थैंक यू सर मंच हैव अ नाइस डे ओके सर थैंक यू फॉर but uh, now i am as a faculty for msc students so sir like i want uh, the students to know about the organic metallic chemistry so how can they develop in this field by doing a projects uh, in the second year which is in final year so that like uh, they will develop some interest like just they read the new reactions and they get so scared with all those things like uh, they will not turn up for that unless we make them do it practically so my my like uh, vision is that they should find some interest being an msc getting a like masters from organic chemistry so in some or the other field they should have some interest and they should love the subject uh, so whatever we teach is highly theoretical but so, you, you people don't have the laboratory to explain them in some of the reaction 
we have sir, we have we do all the practicals no doubt in that nice. but uh, yeah uh, but the syllabus is uh, different from like what we have in theory madam so i want here on second madam one second so actually subject as to now the lot of new innovatives are happening new technology is coming in especially chemistry i think every few years better to change the subject you cannot keep on go with the old stuff base the much amount of stuff has to go to basic uh, first one semester but next coming two semesters has to be more advanced subjects that advanced has to start teaching is not teaching more advanced courses and all only some 10 years back uh, one only teaching in even advanced more that may be not good for the students point of view they can they cannot reach in the more research point of view mind yes sir you are absolutely right sir so how can we bring this change in the colleges sir like you, we have explained everything sir teachers first to teachers has to deal with the principal principal teachers together has to tell the your administration level people whatever the managing people to change the course that it has to come from the teacher like small projects like minor projects if we, if we make them do at the uh, like uh, this during the practicals so maybe they feel interested as microwave synthesis and all if a few things like that are there and that's uh, what they are also in your your practicals also can change some of the new reactions the newly developing reaction now newly developing lot of reactions are the sustainable reaction where you can perform many so the practicals also can change Sure. Thank you very much, sir. Welcome, ma'am. Uh, sir, uh, one more question, sir. Uh, like, um, we are planning to start a certificate course on advanced organic reagents for MSc students, uh, so that when they go to the pharmaceutical labs or industries, it will be helpful. Sir, yes. uh, like that, uh, can you suggest some more certificate courses, like which uh, our students will be utilizing that during their MSc study? so that's what the, the, now even uh, kind of is asymmetric catalysis how much they can able to have a nice kind of uh, a quick course where they able to understand and design the uh, some of the catalyst and the planning explanation for point of view and also hplc analysis whoever want to join in industry and all in the msc level for them understanding and using the machine hplc is very important so when you say asymmetric catalysis is a catalyst design understanding preliminary knowledge and uh, transient state theory uh, and phase transfer uh, phase selectivity along with hplc analysis and other instrument like a gc analysis all those things will come and that i think uh, will be nice uh, we can get the jobs more quick manner in the industry if people show that i you have a knowledge on uh, asymmetric catalysis yes sir. thank you sir mm. like we can tie up with some uh, um, like labs for the practicals exactly. and exactly so hplc and all lab right yes sir so asymmetric synthesis is the lab technique like hplc gc analysis okay sir. so then you can the students can get more quick manner with industry yes thank you sir yeah i would like to know the students understand the what i taught the subject now asymmetric catalysis whatever the story sravya uh, sir uh, good afternoon sir good afternoon అడగండి <laughs> your internet connection is unstable uh, sir, uh, now, uh, I'm audible, now i'm audible sir parle meer video off chesi maatladandi meer vastundi 
Yes, sir. Uh, sir, my query is like as you have done a lot of work in asymmetric catalysis. Uh, during your work, uh, as you have explored all the aspects, many aspects of it. So during your work, uh, did you come across any limitation uh, or disadvantage uh, like thing for asymmetric catalysis? <laughs> what, what What do you want to get answer from me, Amma? Uh, sir, like um. Savia, so, yeah, you tell me what, what answer you expecting from me. Uh, sir, like nowadays we are concentrating more on uh, green chemistry okay. uh, aspect. So okay. um, asymmetric uh, catalysis uh, is, I'm sure, a green method, sir. Okay. But during any reaction or during any of your research, uh, did you, uh, I mean, find any reaction which was a limitation or which was not following the green, green chemistry principles? See, what, what, whatever the green green concept, everywhere it will come, right? Green concept is not only is a chemistry. The green concept will come physics, biology, uh, even you are in your kitchen, cooking in your kitchen, the way you communicate with other person, whether I... Uh, sorry? You are you're following what I am saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, the green concept is there everywhere. Whatever we are developing and all, some, if you take some 50 years back or some 100 years back, the time our knowledge is less, somehow we need the material. This is the we want to progress, we want to get that material and just use it. But Wakasari knowledge in Taravata, we keep on when you are coming, then we realize. You see, um, I don't know, you ask your parents, you you in your parents, your your parents engage how they enjoy uh, the environmental point of view. If they're traveling somewhere, they used to drink just like water from some places. But today we cannot drink water like that because a lot of groundwater is polluted because of a lot of industries and all pouring here and there, a lot of pollution, you cannot drink outside. You have to buy the water and drink when you travel outside. You see how horrible it happened? You understand, Agama? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, a lot of this industrial revolution, whatever, one way progress we are seeing, but other way, we are spoiling our environment. System. We are spoiling our resources. So, you put realize, Agama. You put realize, I have a lot of people let me develop the more greener manner. disturb we should be able to achieve our goals. We should be able to enjoy. And feeling you prostund. So the another green and the subject everywhere it is there. Everywhere it is there, sustainability. That's what this this year we thought is is integrated approaches in science and technology for sustainable future. Sustainable future and dinama. They should not disappoint that we spoil all resources and we are given the uh, nonsense to the future generations. You agree? Yes, sir. I agree, sir. Yes, sir. So, the way we live, the way we talk, the way we communicate, Mana Bashan Guda. Yes, sir. This is also not green. Yes, sir. Huh? Correct, sir. Now, after a few years, I was telling much further. I was telling no, sir. So, Yedi Gopa and Yedi Marakunda, need the Manchu Jagger of this pony on a coach generation. You follow him. That is a green. Yes, sir. True, sir. Malay, I'm not clear. You're not clear. You're not clear. You're not clear. You're not clear.
నువ్వు తెలుగు చదివా అమ్మా నువ్వు శ్రావ్య సార్ ఎస్ సార్ తెలుగు చదువుకున్నావా నువ్వు అమ్మా స్కూల్లో సార్ ఎంతవరకు సార్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫిఫ్త్ టు సెవెంత్ సార్ ఫిఫ్త్ టు సెవెంత్ అంతే అవును సార్ రాస్తావా అమ్మా తెలుగు రాస్తాను సార్ కొంచెం కష్టం కదా కష్టమే సార్ ఒక పద్యం చెప్తావా అమ్మా సార్ ఇప్పుడు మనం అనుకుంటున్నాం కదా శాస్త్రవేత్తలము సైన్స్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ సస్టైనబుల్ ఫ్యూచర్ అన్నది మన తెలుగులో ఎంతో భాషా శాస్త్రవేత్తలు పుట్టారు నన్నయ్య తిక్కన్న ఎర్రన్న ఆలస్థాని పెద్దన్న శ్రీనాథుడు తిరుపతి వెంకట కవులు ఎంతో మహానుభావులు గొప్ప గొప్ప భాషా శాస్త్రవేత్తలు పుట్టి మన తెలుగుని ఎంతో గొప్పగా తీర్చిదిద్ది గొప్ప గనిగా ఎంతో మై మహాని మాత్రమే భాష మనకి ఇచ్చారు కానీ మనం దాన్ని ఇట్లే చేసుకుంటలేము మంచి ఇప్పుడు అన్ని మన ఇండియాలో ఉన్న అన్ని భాషల కంటే తెలుగు భాష వెరీ వెరీ పర్ఫెక్ట్ కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ అనమాట మంచి కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ చేశారు భాషని అవును సార్ అలాంటి మహోన్నతమైన భాషని మనం రాస్ మనం చదవట్లేము మనం మాట్లాడుకుంటలేము మంచిగా మనం రాయట్లేదు ఐ థింక్ ఆల్ తెలుగు పీపుల్ దిస్ సైన్స్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ టు ఫ్యూచర్ సస్టైనబుల్ ఫ్యూచర్ పర్పస్ వి షుడ్ హ్యావ్ దట్ స్ట్రాంగ్ డిటర్మినేషన్ దట్ మనం అంతా తెలుగులోనే మాట్లాడలే వచ్చే థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ ఎనీ అదర్ స్టూడెంట్ నమస్కారం సార్ నమస్కారం బాగా నవయ్య శబ్దం సార్ నేను ఐఐటి ఇండోర్ లో పిహెచ్డి థర్డ్ ఇయర్ ఐఐటి ఇండోర్ లో చేస్తున్నావు పిహెచ్డి అవును సార్ మంచిది ఎవరి దగ్గర చేస్తున్నావు ప్రొఫెసర్ సంపత్ సమంత సమంత వెరీ గుడ్ నేను మన లెక్చర్ ఇచ్చాను ఇన్నావా ఇన్నాను సార్ అదే అసిమెట్రిక్ లో ప్యూరిఫికేషన్ ప్రాబ్లం ఏంటి దాన్ని ఎట్లా సాల్వ్ చేస్తున్నారు మీరు అండ్ ప్యూరిఫికేషన్ ప్రాబ్లం కాలం ప్యూరిఫికేషన్ అది ఒక ఎస్మెట్రిక్ లాంటి రాదు కానీ ఎక్కడైనా ఉంటుంది కదా ప్యూరిఫికేషన్ ప్రాబ్లం ఉన్నది వాట్ ఎవర్ ఒక రియాక్షన్ చేసావు ఏ ప్లస్ రియాక్షన్ చేసావు అన్న తర్వాత ప్రోడక్ట్ ఎంత ఫామ్ అయింది ఆ రియాక్షన్ ప్యూరిటీ ఎలా ఉంది ప్యూర్ గా ఉందా లేకపోతే ఆ వేరే ప్రోడక్ట్స్ ఏమైనా ఫామ్ అయ్యాయా సో ఆ రియాక్షన్ గ్రోత్ ను బట్టి ఆ రియాక్షన్ ప్యూరిటీ ని బట్టి దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ద ఛాలెంజ్ వెదర్ ఎనీ స్టార్టింగ్ మెటీరియల్ లెఫ్ట్ అయ్యా ప్రోడక్ట్ ఏమని వేరే వచ్చాయా సో రియాక్షన్ టు రియాక్షన్ మారిపోతుంటుంది ఈ ప్యూరిఫికేషన్ అన్నారు అది డైనమిక్ అప్రోచ్ ఈ కెనా టెల్ అక్యురేట్లీ ఇలానే వస్తుందని చెప్పలేము మామూలుగా సింథసిస్ లో అయితే స్పాట్ లో అటాచ్ గా ఉంది కాలంలో ప్యూరిఫై అయిపోయింది అసిమెట్రిక్ లో ఎక్స్ ఎన్సిక్ ఎక్స్ డైరియో సెలెక్టివిటీ లో కూడా మామూలు మాలిక్యూల్ లానే ఉంటాయి దానికి నువ్వు అసిమెట్రిక్ కదా ఏమైతుడు అనేది ఏం ఫీలింగ్ అక్కర్లేదు సో ఆ మాలిక్యూల్స్ ఆల్సో లైక్ ఎ నార్మల్ మాలిక్యూల్ ఓన్లీ బట్ యూ నో నీట్ వరీ టూ మచ్ అబౌట్ దట్ వన్స్ యూ గెట్ ద మాలిక్యూల్ ప్యూర్ అండ్ ఆల్ దెన్ యూ హావ్ టు ఇంజెక్ట్ హెచ్పి కైరల్ కైరల్ హెచ్పి ఆ కైరల్ హెచ్పి ఇంజెక్ట్ చేసినప్పుడు then you will understand any anomalous in one minute one little major ent undi minor ent telusukuntaru aa anomalous mari inject cheyalante aa compound pure ga undali when compound you have a pure 99.9% pure unnapudu aa vache rendu anomalous marla oka anomalous marla clear ardham ayyadu pure ga ledanuko then vere peaks lo vachinaa ni confuse ayipothu ai vere peaks ga vachinaa ee peak ni ee anomalous mara kaada annadi mottham confuse ayipoyi then you disturb purity annadi important పద్యాలు చాలా <laughs> 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 
Sir, this is uh, our request towards you. So please accept this uh, certificate of appreciation, which is very much uh, please minor thing for you, but still please accept from our side. We will be very happy. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm very happy to today to interact with you people, and I wish you that your college should do greatly, and uh, I wish many of your students should get a lot of uh, net fellowships. and looking forward to see one of your student to join uh, a good number in our school in our school of hydro school of chemistry for phd program thank you so much sir thank you sir thank you so can i leave madam uh, sir just 2 minutes sir I A Shravya, faculty from Department of Chemistry, R B B R R Women's College, would like to grab this honor to thank you all on this occasion. Firstly, our sincere thanks and deepest gratitude to our today's inspiring speaker, Dr. Devalapalli Ramachari Sir, professor from Catalysis Laboratory, School of Chemistry, University of Hyderabad, for his engrossing session on asymmetric organocatalysis. It is. Sustainable, sustainable chemistry sustainable chemistry is it sustainable chemistry sir has enlightened us about the various uh, aspects of organo uh, catalysis starting from the definition and why uh, should we use uh, organo catalysis and sir has introduced us to the four pillars of asymmetric catalysis being uh, metal catalysis organo catalysis bio catalysis and supramolecular organo catalysis sir has taken us back to the history of how uh, organo uh, catalysis was introduced uh, in the field of uh, science uh, sir has uh, talked about the various uh, achievements and the uh, landmarks in the development of organo catalysis in terms of pre organo catalysis period organo catalysis period and post organo catalysis period and sir has also given us various details about the contributions of indian and scientists and researchers from hcu uh, under this uh, topic and sir has uh, also given us a beautiful explanation about the lawson uh, synthon discovery and also at the end sir has explained us about the scope for expansion and development of uh, this field i'm sure sir uh, that you have given us all the uh, students as well as the faculty a great platform to prove further in this field of chemistry i would also like to take this opportunity to thank our honorable uh, management members professor mutyam reddy sir secretary hmvs professor sudarshan reddy sir secretary cum correspondent of our college principal dr achuta devi ma'am vice principal dr kavita ma'am for their constant support and motiva motivation to conduct such wonderful events my special thanks to our beloved hod dr jeevan jyoti ma'am for organizing and coordinating uh, for such inspirational sessions i extend my thanks to all the faculty and of various departments and department of chemistry for their gracious presence last but never the least a special thanks to all the student participants for being such great audience and making this session a, a success thank you all once again thank you very much sir happy learning to all and a great day thank you very much sir thank you thank you very much thank all, you, all your teachers have a great time and uh, wish you wish you to uh, good students and have a great name thank you sir thank you thank
before leaving please fill the feedback form